Whether you pursue a master's degree or a PhD, it's a significant commitment of time, energy and finances. Before you choose, you need to understand both degrees very well so that you can make an informed decision. So today in this video, we are going to talk about the differences between master's and PhD. Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Before moving into the topic, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe it now so that you don't miss useful videos like this in the future. Alright, let's begin. So what is a master's degree and what is a PhD degree? Usually, when you go to the university, the first degree you do is a bachelor's and after that you can do master's which usually goes for 2-3 to three years. After you complete master's, you can do a PhD degree which usually lasts for 3-5 to five years depending on the university and the country you are doing your PhD. So the flow will be from bachelor's degree to master's degree to a PhD degree. In summary, both degrees exposes you to research and give you good knowledge of the study area whereas PhD aims to make you an independent researcher. In terms of study, master's degree could be both coursework based or research based whereas most of the PhD degrees are research based. Now let's talk about the entry requirements for both master's and PhD. Usually, to do a master's degree, you need to complete your bachelor's degree. Depending on the university, the requirements might be more or less. For example, if you are from a non-English speaking country like Nepal or India, you might need an English score such as TOEFL or IELTS to get entry into master's at the American universities. For a PhD degree, usually you need to complete your master's degree first. However, in some cases, if you have done bachelor's degree with honors and you have written thesis or you have some sort of publications, you may be eligible for a PhD. It depends on your supervisor and university as well. In general, entry requirements for both master's and PhD includes degree transcript, bachelor's transcript for master's and master's transcript for a PhD, CV or resume, English test depending on the country, Statement of purpose or a writing sample. References. Interview, mostly for PhD. Publications. Sometimes for PhD, your application is considered strong if you have done some publications in your bachelor's or master's. Now let's talk about mentorship program for both master's and PhD degree. Both PhD and master's students have mentor who guides them throughout their degree. A mentor is someone who guides students and give constructive feedback on writing, teaching and other elements of career design. Mentors are also known as supervisors or advisors. In masters, there are usually two to three committee members with one major supervisor. Whereas in a PhD, there are usually three to five committee members with one major supervisor. It is really important to select a good supervisor for your degree as bad supervisors can be very detrimental to your research and professional career. It's always a good idea to talk to previous students to determine whether the supervisor is good or not. Now let's talk about the difficulty level. What do you guys think? Which one is more difficult? It is often said that masters is a piece of cake whereas PhD is a full cake. And obviously eating full cake is more difficult than a piece of cake, right? PhD is purely a research-based degree where you need to do Nobel research and attempt to fill the knowledge gap in your area, which involves a lot of research and publications as well. Therefore, research work in PhD is more demanding than master's. In master's, you may have to do one or two small research works and use the results to publish small thesis. If it is a course-based master's degree, you may not even need to conduct research projects. Almost all PhD degree requires you to write a lengthy thesis, which contains published and unpublished papers in a predetermined format. To complete a PhD degree, your committee members and supervisors should be satisfied with the label of your work displayed in your thesis. Also, your supervisors and committee members expect more from you if you are a PhD student compared to a master's student. Additionally, compared to master's student, you, as a PhD student, need to demonstrate high level of proposal writing skills, research design skills, writing skills, project management skills, collaboration skills, and communication skills. Therefore, P 
PhD is more difficult than masters. Now let's talk about the cost of both degrees. Both masters and PhD are very costly degrees. In the USA, typical master's degree can cost anywhere from $30,000 to $120,000 and same goes for a PhD degree. However, for a PhD student, tuition fees are generally waived or paid through teaching or research assistantship. In many cases, assistantships cover living costs as well. But for masters, some students may get the assistantships or scholarships, but not everyone. Career prospects of both master's and PhD degree is very good. However, it depends on study field as well. Usually, master's is done to have a career outside of academia, preparing you for a management and leadership role, whereas PhD prepares you for a research career. If you want to become a professor, a PhD is a must. In the USA, 19% of job openings requires either master's or PhD degree, and it is expected to grow by 17% by 2026 for master's level jobs. That means demand for master's and PhD level jobs are growing higher. But on the other hand, competition is also growing higher. Individuals with master's and doctoral degrees work in a broad range of important occupations in every occupational sector, such as academia, industries, government, and nonprofit organizations. Talking about income, individuals with master's or PhD degree are likely to earn 38.3% more than those with bachelor's. In the US, average lifetime earning of a person with PhD is $3.3 million, with master's is $2.7 million and with bachelor's is $2.3 million. That means you are likely to earn more with master's and PhD degree than bachelor's or high school degree. So guys, these were some of the differences between master's and PhD degree. In summary, master's degree requires less money and time than PhD, is more career oriented than PhD, is less research oriented than PhD, and may have more employment opportunities than PhD. And a PhD degree makes you expert in the field, enhances your critical thinking, reasoning, and problem solving skills improves your analytical skills and lets you add doctor in your title. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked today's content. Please do not forget to like and comments in this video. We will see you again. Until then, watch We Inspire and keep inspiring.